I am Charles Lane, a tormented soul banished in hell. Born in 1960, I was a serial killer in California, USA, and I left a dark imprint in the history of crime. From Hong Kong, I moved to the United States in 1978 and served in the U.S. Army until 1980 when I was convicted of assaulting an officer. After leaving the military, I descended into darkness and committed crimes alongside Leonard Lake. In hell, each passing day is torture. Nightmares constantly torment me. Images of the victims that Lake and I killed come to find me, demanding justice. We kidnapped, tortured, imprisoned, raped, and killed many people, mostly women, from 1983 to 1985. These heinous acts were often carried out at a cabin in Calaveras County, California, which Lake called the Dungeon. Once, I tricked Kathleen Allen, an 18-year-old girl, and her boyfriend, Michael Carroll. I knew them through work at a supermarket where Lake and I often shopped. We took their lives, and I always regret that. Regarding Harvey Dubs and his family, Leonard Lake and I knew Harvey through an advertisement for video equipment he was trying to sell. We visited his home under the pretext of buying. Once we were inside, we took control of the situation, forcibly detaining his family. Randy Jacobson. Randy sold a car to Lake. I helped Lake plan to capture Jacobson by luring him to a remote place to receive payment. Paul Cosner. Cosner sold a car to us, and we planned to kidnap him on the spot. We pretended to inspect the car and asked Cosner to drive us to a remote location where we attacked him, Kathleen Allen and Michael Carroll. We knew both through the supermarket where we often shopped. We planned to kidnap them, using the lure of a party at our home. When they arrived, we took control of the situation and imprisoned them. Brenda O'Connor, Lonnie Bond, and their son Lonnie Bond Jr. We lived next to each other in Calaveras County. We planned to kidnap their family after a dispute over a minor issue. When they came to our house to discuss the issue, we attacked them and held them captive. Oh, what sorrow! What I have done, committed such heinous crimes. I can't stop my tears from falling. I am so bad, even worse than animals. I am horrifying, disgusting. I fully deserve to go to hell. But one day at my most helpless, I met the Lord. He came to me, bringing a faint light into the eternal darkness. He told me, you have committed serious mistakes, but even in the darkest darkness, one can find light. Realizing your errors and seeking forgiveness can only be the beginning. I lived in sin and lust, deceived and killed many people. I feel lucky to be given a chance by the Lord to recognize my deep remorse and His mercy. Now with regret, I want to apologize to those who lost their lives because of me. Harvey Dubs, Deborah Dubs, Seen Dubs, Randy Jacobson, Paul Costner, Kathleen Allen, Michael Carroll, Brenda O'Connor, Lonnie Bond, and Lonnie Bond Jr. I'm sorry for causing pain to you and your family. I do not know whether I will be forgiven, but I will pray with all sincerity. To those who live in sin, I advise you to stop immediately. Do not let yourself fall into darkness, and do not hope that when you die, you will meet the Lord. Because, although I was given a chance to meet Him, I also had to suffer a lot. Finally, I want to say goodbye. I am a weak soul from hell, given a chance to tell my story. But my time is limited, so live a righteous life and remember, the Lord does not allow you to do wrong.